What's up YouTube? It's your boy Kari here, back again with another video for y'all. Really just wanna fuck. Us gringos, we have this negative stigma here, right? So today's topic, man, I'm gonna be breaking down the current state of dating in Colombia. I'm gonna tell you today, if it's still worth coming here to date, you know, from a male perspective and also from a female perspective, I want to give you guys some insights into what's going on in the minds of the Colombian woman. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, I'm not a Colombian woman, but I talk to a lot of them. I'm close friends with a lot of them and I see a lot of things living here so long. So let's get into it today. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's your boy Cardi.hq. Follow me on Instagram at Cardi.hq. So what prompted me to get into this topic today, right? Well, of course, like a lot of things, I saw a, another post on, on social media. I'm not going to say where, but a guy was talking about how, you know, there's become this stigma in Medellin about uh, making guys look bad for chasing women, right? Like he was basically saying that, you know, why every time someone posts something, let's say on Facebook about where to meet good females that he's met with, you know, a lot of negative comments about you know, girls here don't want gringos, uh, or gringos are messing up Medellin, messing up Colombia, stop coming, stop looking for girls. And mind you, these are guys, normal guys, looking to meet girls uh, for kind of a culture exchange, not for sex, obviously, but more for to practice their Spanish, to practice dancing, to uh, maybe have a relationship, but really just more friendships and to expand their network. So um, right now that's highly frowned upon because so many dudes come here in disguise like they're gonna do that and they really just wanna fuck, all right? So that's kind of the problem that we, we've we arrived at now. So us gringos, we have this negative stigma here, right? That all we want is sex. All we are chasing after are the cheeks and that we fake that we are interested in a woman and it's all a game to get into the panties. That happens all over the world, okay? <laughs> That's not specific to gringos in Colombia, right? Even in the States, a lot of dudes are faking it till they hit it, you feel me? That's just the name of the game. I didn't make it that way, but it seems like society has made it that way, that we have to, as men, show all this interest, you know, in, in hopes of getting with a chick. Now, that's not necessarily the methodology that I follow, but for a lot of men, that's how their head is set up. So, um, when you kind of look at it that way, in Colombia, dating is still alive, dating is still popping, you can still date, but it's become a lot harder. A lot of men come looking for that simple woman, right? The one that's gonna cook clean, you know, comes from a good family, have will have kids for you, and after all that, doesn't want anything in return. A lot of dudes are searching for this, like, this magical Colombian dream woman, right? There's, there's beautiful big ass, big titties, beautiful face, beautiful long hair, uh, doesn't have any kids, uh, wants to cook and clean, and wants to look pretty for you, doesn't talk back, you know, all this shit. Uh, you know, you could go on and on describing like the perfect woman that every guy would want, right? But what you find is that, you know, the women here are very complex, you know, they, a lot of them have different goals, a lot of them or are searching for different things out of life. So, you know, it's not as simple as it used to be where, you know, the women, they, they kind of just were focused on their family. They weren't really paying attention to social media. They weren't paying attention to all the celebrities, all the superstars and everything that they do today. Because today, you know, every woman is in constant competition, it seems like, with the next woman, you know, trying to figure out their situation, how they can maximize their situation. And that usually revolves around money or lifestyle, having, let's say, a new iPhone, having a new car, having a nice apartment, living in a nice part of town, eating out at nice restaurants. All women compete on this stuff. You know, for them, for most women, not for all women, but the ones that are chasing after prestige, chasing after luxury, um, usually are the drop dead gorgeous women that are really well put together, meaning they dress elegantly. They don't dress like the putas, but they look just as good body wise. You know, they look better really. And they put on their makeup in a certain type of way that 
doesn't look cheap and doesn't look, you know, hoish, if you will. So these types of women, man, the superstars of Columbia, the, the women that, you know, most dudes are chasing after, they, they're chasing after prestige as well. They go after the dudes that got money. They go after dudes that have cars, dudes that have nice uh, apartments, houses, and situations out here. And these are the same girls that chase after celebrities. They're chasing after the Ricky Tan artists and all this types of stuff, right? So it's hard to get into a girl's head like that and make her actually like you and want to do good things for you, want to start a family with you and actually be in it to win it together, not just to start a family by accident. Um, you know, these women generally are not on the same wavelength mentally as most of the gringos that are coming here. Most of the gringos that are coming here, I think the best thing for you to do is look for a, a average woman. Now, a lot of dudes are like, nah, I could get that bad bitch, right? In Colombia, average is still like a bad bitch. You know what I mean? Like average in Colombia is really like a, a eight or a nine in the States. Cause most women out here have a nice body. You know what I mean? It's not like, like in the States, it's harder to find a girl with a real nice body just because there's a lot more girls that are fat and a lot more girls that are flat. I don't know why, but I think it's genetics and all that stuff, but, and the, the diet and whatnot, and the, the way we, our lifestyle, like they walk a lot out here, they eat different out here, you know? They also have a lot of surgeries, but the point is that there are plenty of women that get overlooked out in Colombia, right? Because I'm talking like the girl that's making your coffee, the girl that's serving your food, the girl that works at the rental car place, or some nice chick that you might see on the metro, or the, like regular girls that you see around town, if you will. So if you take that approach to dating women in Colombia, I think you're gonna find a good woman that's simple. Now, they're not as simple as they were five years ago or 10 years ago. You know, most women have caught up to the social media age, right? And so they have more wants, they have more things that they're, you know, are chasing after more desires out of life, uh, more dreams, right? So if you're a serious guy that's looking to actually date a woman, a Colombian, then really it works to your advantage, you know? Um, let all the gringos kind of fuck it up for themselves and then you come in and be the nice guy be the be the um gentleman that they're looking for now that's for the guys that really want a serious relationship now me i've been in several serious relationships myself and i always do something stupid to fuck them up um and it's like a subconscious thing like i'll do something real stupid like my my girlfriend that I was dating most recently um, she owns a, a storefront, right? That is like a salon. And so, um, and so I did something so stupid. I went into the salon and I got another girl's number. She wasn't there at the time, but she saw it on the camera and she like went off on me. So that's why I'm saying like, when I say I do stupid shit um, in my own relationships, I don't know why I did that shit. Um, I have some, some thoughts about why I did that, but you know, <clears throat> I'm the type of guy that's like, if I got something good, I have to find a way to fuck it up. When it comes to girls, okay? When it comes to girls, I just like, if, if we're going steady for too long, I feel like we need a bump in the road. You know what I mean? I don't know why I'm like that, but anyway, um, as long as you don't do stupid shit like that, then you can really have a long-term real relationship out here that might turn into marriage, might turn into, you know, your actual life. You know, a lot of dudes come here to Columbia for that exact reason. And I'm just here to tell you that's still possible. You just have to go about it a certain way, understand the changes that have happened recently in the culture. I mean, they caught up. Like at, at first we as Americans were on a sneak attack. Colombians didn't see us coming. You know, the first gringos that came slipped in, you know what I mean? And after a while, the Colombians caught on to, they caught on to the game. And now, yes, guys, you will find a lot more women that are looking to exploit you, exploit your money, you know, that type of thing. But you have to be smart. You have to learn Spanish. You know, you can't be out here just doing whatever these women want you to do, right? You have to have your own life here too. 
a lot of guys are just coming for vacation and that's a different bucket. You know, I'm talking about the guys that are living here, that have a life here, that have settled and learned the culture. So that's my talk for today. If you have any questions, reach out to me on Instagram at kari.hq. Like, comment, and subscribe. You better like my shit. You know what I mean? So guys, thanks for watching. I'm out.